The reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 21, verses 15 through 19. After Jesus had revealed himself to his disciples and eaten breakfast with them, he said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. He then said to Simon Peter a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that he had said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you. When you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this, signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said to him, follow me. The Gospel of the Lord. And now, some reflections. Jesus was talking to Peter after his resurrection. When Jesus said to Peter, follow me, he was really choosing Peter to become the first Christian leader, that is, to become the first Pope. And then, for the following 2,000 years, there have been 267 successors of Peter as Pope, holding that office as the Bishop of Rome. Jesus knew what kind of death Peter would die. But he knew that Peter's death would glorify God. We know that Peter died an awful death. He was crucified upside down on a cross because he didn't want to die in the same way as Jesus did out of respect for him. But back to Jesus' questioning Peter in the gospel today, when he says, do you love me? Peter replies three times, yes, Lord, I love you. This is because before Jesus died on the cross, Peter denied Jesus three times. So now Jesus is looking to Peter as a leader and he's giving him the second chance. Jesus knows that Peter is ready and he gives him the keys to the kingdom. Peter, from that point on, was a preacher for the next 34 years. He converted many people, Jews and Gentiles alike, to become Christians. There's one line that Peter says that I really like. Be yourself with the good Lord. That's all. Thanks be to God.